Hey guys, what's up? This is Nainia from Tech Barrack Solutions and today I have the Nokia Lumia 920 and I will be reviewing this particular device. This will be my first Windows Phone interview so let's see how it goes about and we will begin with the design of this device. So here is the Nokia Lumia 920. It is quite thick and bulky too. It weighs 185 grams and it is 10.7 mm thick so you can just imagine that it is extremely thick in comparison to the other smartphones out there in the market on the top we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack along with a micro sim card slot at the bottom we have two speakers which makes it stereo speakers along with a micro USB slot on the right hand side we have got volume rockers the power on off button and the camera button at the back we have got a 8 megapixel sensor which uses Carl Z's lens and it's written over here also that it says it uses Carl Z's lens it also has got dual LED flash next to the camera lens the Nokia Lumia 920 sports a 4.5 inch display with a pixel density of 332 though it has got a resolution of 1280 by 768 and not 1080p the display looks great and it makes use of Corning Gorilla Glass 2. The device comes with an inbuilt storage of 32GB and has no micro SD card slot so there is no possibility of expanding your storage beyond 32 gigabytes. Lumia 920 supports Bluetooth 3.0 and NFC. It comes with support for Wi-Fi 802.11 ABGN protocol support. It also supports Wi-Fi Direct. So it's got almost all sorts of connectivity available to the user at any time at one go. The device is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 chip which is dual core and is clocked at 1.5 GHz. It uses Adreno 225 GPU. It has 1 GB of RAM embedded inside of it and it has a long battery of 2000 mAh. Lumia 920 runs Windows Phone 8. It has got the modern UI which is unique with live tiles. It keeps the user always connected. The start menu has our most used applications that we have pinned. As we swipe towards the right, we get the list of all the applications that have been installed on our device. The applications are sorted alphabetically and the user can select any alphabet to directly access all the applications starting from that particular alphabet. Frankly, I found this extremely tough and time consuming to find the right application at the right time. User cannot customize this and this is where I think I would definitely prefer an iOS or an Android which has a simpler user interface for choosing application from the app drawer. Microsoft has always tried to bring in colors to their operating system. So if the user wants to change the overall color feel of the operating system, he can do that easily by selecting from a variety of colors. The status bar still does not show the battery percentage in number, which I again feel should be added in a future update. If the user wants to access the status bar at any point of time, he can just slide from the top and he gets all the useful info that he should be getting. Transferring data using the Windows Phone application for Mac and Windows was simply easy and even using the transfer my data application which is provided officially by Nokia was simply awesome because it made it really very simple for me to transfer my contacts from my iPhone by just using the Bluetooth. Multitasking on the Windows Phone is simply pathetic. You can initiate multitasking by pressing the back key. Opening applications from the multitasking menu restores the previous instance but starting the application directly 
from the start menu or the app drawer will not restore or preserve the previous instance which is really very annoying there are, the major problem is the windows phone marketplace you will find the most commonly used apps like viber whatsapp however the list tends to fade away as you just keep on going at the bottom so you may have the famous applications but you don't have the variety of applications like ios and android has even the games you have games from Gameloft, EA and other famous applications from iMangi Studios like Temple Run. But then the list again starts to fade away. So again the quality of games is not that great when you just keep on going down. On the top you may have the cream applications, the cream games. But then the list fades. The best part of this operating system is backup. Backing up application list and settings, text messages, photos, etc. is just a click away. Just go to your settings, click on backup and just turn on the backup for either one of these options. Once you have done that, just go to that particular option and click on backup now. And it will just take a few minutes to backup your whole data. So the next time when you buy a new Windows phone, you just need to restore your backup. That's how simple it is. There are certain bugs too and extremely minor ones. The settings, for example, may show that it is on or off. But in reality, the settings might be opposite. So the user actually does not know whether that particular setting is on or off. Let's begin the performance of this device. So in this performance, I will be covering the music and video performance, application performance, the gaming performance, the benchmark performance, and also the camera performance. So first I will talk about the music and video performance. So we'll open up this application. This is the default application, which is inbuilt inside of your Windows Phone 8 and we have got an application menu inside this particular application which shows us all the music related applications installed on this device then we have got collection we have got history and new so let's uh, check out the music interface and it's got the same options artists albums songs playlists genres same options like other smartphone music applications then we have the videos application or you could say the videos option videos tab which has just got one option that's all and I've got one video file and we've got the podcast which shows audio and video at the moment I don't have any podcast available on my device so let's uh, try playing some video so you can clearly see because this device does not have a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio you will find those black checkerboards on the top and bottom you can easily remove them by using the expand button this may be annoying for certain users but it is not annoying for me because I've been using smartphones like since 2009 and that time we didn't have anything like 16 is to 9 on the smartphone so it's perfectly fine for me the video quality and output is good but it lacks support for subtitles which I found really annoying and irritating because if you have a video file which supports subtitles you should get an option to play those subtitles on the video file itself this support is there on other smartphones but windows phone lacks it now this video immediately comes into the history which is good enough now let's play some music You can see there's a good output coming from the speakers because it's got stereo speakers the output is really very good it's loud clear and awesome which I really like but now what's bad is you cannot fast forward the song now luckily you did not play any video file so you can 
begin the song from where you paused which is good but now let's say if I played a video file now I cannot begin that music file from where I had paused which is again something annoying I can just go to the history and it will start from the beginning and as I told you it does not support fast forwarding or rewind so this is completely bad feature pathetic feature whatever you can say and it is a very important and, and essential feature which any user wants so for this I would definitely switch to an iOS or Android because I want this feature that is the fast forward and rewind feature so that is pretty much this music and videos app and pretty much the performance of music and video on this smartphone let's check out the application performance we will look at Internet Explorer and Microsoft Office let's open up Internet Explorer first we will check out a mobile oriented website let's reload the website so as such while reloading we have some flickering but uh, once the website is loaded up we don't see any sort of flickering so that is a very good sign let's open a desktop website so we have engadget.com and while reloading a desktop website we see some flickering but once the website is loaded up there is no flickering zooming in is extremely fast and quick but while zooming out we can see white checkerboards which is not a good thing considering it is a flagship device with high-end processor now we will open Microsoft Office I have sample documents in here let's try opening one of them all the documents are resized according to the screen resolution this can cause issues when you have big tables with many columns or if you have many images overall the reading experience is definitely simplified by auto resizing creating documents is extremely simple you can just click on the add button and you can select some of the templates which Microsoft Office officially provides let's say agenda and there you go you just need to edit the text like the title like the date and the content so it's that simple so overall I love the Microsoft Office application games perform good on this device high-end games like Modern Combat 4, Real Football 2013 etc may lag at times but casual games like Temple Run work like a charm the bigger screen makes it more fun for the user to play games on this device let's do some benchmark test of this device so there are certain applications available on the windows app store or you can say the windows marketplace and this particular application is multi bench 2 now the untutu benchmark is not working perfectly so that's why i cannot use that application so for that time being i'm using multi bench 2 so let's run all the benchmark test possible and i'll be back with the results 
so here are the results and it involves various categories like graphics memory data etc and if I compare it with other devices our device stands on top I mean Nokia Lumia 920 stands on top in every single category and it has to because it is the flagship device so this is the front camera of Nokia Lumia 920 it shoots at 1080p at 30 frames per second and it has got a 8 megapixel sensor and it's pretty good quality it's fine crystal clear you could say and it's raining currently so it's a cool weather in here and there is a very good contrast change and it changes rapidly so that is a very good thing so this is the front camera and it's pretty good it shoots at slightly above 720p at uh, 30 frames per second now the issue is lack of flash so when I go into a dark area my face will not be visible that clearly and you can just see as soon as I come into the light area, lighted area it is clearly visible and the contrast ratio changes extremely fast which is really good So what's my final verdict because that's the thing that you might be looking for after watching the whole video. I would say this is a great device but the software is poor. It has got some really minor bugs which I actually pointed out in the video and it has got a small library of applications which definitely restricts me from buying this particular phone at the moment and I would rather prefer an iOS or an Android device. However. You can always consider this device while buying a new smartphone and overall I would rate it as a 3.7 on 5. So that's my review guys. Please let me know how you like it in the comment section below and please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com and also visit my blog that's my tech blog that's techysparks.com.